Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Flow. As of today we're playing in Minecraft 1.19.4 and uh, actually there's quite some visible changes going on here. As you can see at first sight my armor is completely glintless. Well it's, it's glinting still but ever so slightly. And you can also change this in the video settings apparently so that's something new. And also these potions I think these look so nice. Actually, this is a huge improvement if you ask me and they all have uh, distinct colors from each other now But let's have a look over here under the water. We've built a thing yeah, last episode I built this thing the yellow submarine from uh, the Beatles uh, movie and song of course I am a huge Beatles fan and I built this thing because I recently reached 100 subscribers the submarine Yes, but I still need to do some work on the inside Well, yeah feels kind of empty doesn't it? So I need different floors and sections and subsections and whatnot. And if we have a look on the inside now, you'll see that we have some floors in place. Floors are good to have. I think uh, they section off the submarine quite well. Uh, if you have a look over here, you'll have uh, the main floor. And we have this uh, thing in the middle, sectioning off the front and the back side. We've got a lower area over here and then a walkway up there which you can reach uh, with, this, with stairs over here. First of all, I really want to get rid of these uh, lapis blocks. I don't think they look good at all uh, from the inside over here. I've done some tinkering and we can actually remove these and the water will stay outside but not every time you see. Um, in order to pull this off I need to go ahead and remove all water source blocks in front of these windows. I think that's that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, at least that's what I did here and somehow it worked. I, I Water confuses me in Minecraft so let, let's try that. On the other hand this isn't looking that good from the outside and I do still want it to look good from the outside. Huh. So I decided to use the uh, mangrove trap doors to cover the flowing water. Alright, I've put trap doors all over these. Now I need to unwaterlog these stairs with a bucket. Something like that. Yeah, that does the trick. And I actually like the pattern of the trap doors. Like this. Uh, maybe do something like that over here. I'll clean this up a bit. Maybe put a block there. Alright, looking already a lot cleaner on the inside, but I'm still not finished over here. I'm also going to put a floor in the top section over there. So what I'm gonna do is we go up here, we have a bit of a walkway. I'm going to extend this so we have some catwalks going along the side of the ship. And then uh, we'll have ladders going from the catwalk up in the into the top part. I think that's a good idea. Let's uh, try that out. Okay, things are coming along pretty nicely here in the submarine. Currently in the lower level we've got these little stairways leading up to the the main level I think. We've got lots of space over here and these little walkways on the sides with uh, mangrove trap doors. They fit really nicely with the red and the yellow theme and they're all suspended with chains from the the ceiling. Uh, we've got the lower room over here. We definitely have some space to work with over here. And uh, upstairs we've got the catwalk with the book of subscribers in the center. We can go up these little walkways and we have the ladder over here which we can climb and then we reach the top level, the cockpit or I don't know what you call this, the control room of the submarine. Uh, I do have some plans with this. I, I want to decorate this room so I think it would be nice if I put some red glass over here so we have uh, some bit of a viewing area. But it, I, I'm gonna do some decorating over here. I've got some materials with me. I'll bring you back in a moment. Yeah, something like this. Uh, I think uh, I think this looks nice. We've got a lot of copper tubings and pipes and everything going uh, through the walls and the ceiling. This is uh, the thing here you look through to see through the things uh, up top. I really don't know what you call this. Uh, but we've got some control panels on the sides and some chains you can pull and some lamps and we've got quite a lot going on here but it's purely aesthetical really so the none of this has any functionality. But it does look nice. Oh yeah and down here I replaced all of the torches with end rods. I think they definitely look a lot better. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much the interior part of the submarine finished. However, there's something very important still missing. And also down here I plan on doing something. But first I need something. Something that I have hidden away for 
a long time and uh, actually I kind of forgot about it. and I'm talking about this guy over here yeah oh I, I, I'm actually very happy that you're still there because it's been a very long time since I captured you it's been it's since I was building this over here um, yeah let's uh, heal this guy up splash potion of weakness and a golden apple look at him shivering all right, let's heal him up, and then uh, it would be nice if we could get a, a hold of a, a second one. So, this is villager number one, and perhaps if we let night fall, we can uh, find another one of these zombie villagers. But in the meanwhile, let's just watch this guy heal. Ah, there he goes, perfect. You are gonna be very useful to me, uh, but you may not like it that much. Hmm. Yep, yeah, we've got one. We've got one over there. It's a zombie librarian. Come, follow me. Yes, all right. I got these two guys. Now let's get rid of that one. Perfect. That went easy. Okay, I just went to grab a potion of weakness. Oh no. No. He despawned. I, I, oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. No. Don't <gasps> you killed my zombie villager? Okay, finally managed to get one potion of weakness and the golden apple. And that is two villagers completely healed up. Now let's have you get together with the other guy in the dirt box, and uh, maybe you two can make me some babies. So let's move these guys to a bit of a safer location. Luckily, it's not that far away because this is going slow. I got a small piece of land here right next to my main island and over here I think this is a good location to start making some kind of a villager breeder. Uh, it's gonna be very basic, not automatic, just to get my hands on some very quick and dirty villagers. So I'm building them a lovely dirt house right now just to keep them safe at night from baby zombies and other harmful things. Now it's time to get the second villager over there. Alright, we're there. Uh, this is a bit cramped. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to expand this house. Huh. Okay, this mansion is finished. We've got some beds in place. Now let's give him some food and watch him make babies. I see lots of hearts, but no babies. Seems to be a problem. They're um, making hearts, but then they're getting like the, the angry particles. The, you see, there, there's something wrong, there's something bothering them. Well, after doing some research, apparently villagers need a two block space above their beds, which wasn't the case, so uh, hopefully this should fix it. And yes, this did the trick, we already have three baby villagers over here. Just need one more and then uh, wait for them to grow up. But in the meanwhile, I, uh, I am going to put these villagers in the submarine, in case you haven't guessed already. Uh, but to get them there, I'm probably gonna have to use one long railroad track and uh, here's when things get interesting. You see we're in our uh, dwarven part of the base uh, with all of the redstone and farmy thingies and we've got a corridor going all the way down over here. It's quite long corridor uh, but we've got a small geode thing over here and uh, another one over there. But the fun thing is, you may have noticed by the dripping and the water over here, that we're uh, partially underwater. So if we were to extend this corridor like straight over there, we will wind up exactly at the position of the yellow submarine, which is not too far from the cliff over here. So I'm thinking maybe to extend this corridor, and uh, have some kind of a glass tunnel leading all the way up to the side of the submarine which will then be the entrance to the submarine. I think that's a very good idea. I'm gonna make a bunch of rails now. Or maybe we can dig the tunnel first, that makes more sense I think. Okay, we've got the tunnel complete and all of the rails in place. Now it's just a matter of putting a minecart down here and picking up these guys. And then they can make their way down to the submarine. 
Now, uh, if you guys would please cooperate a bit. And this is villager number four, and he's off. Beautiful. Got two villagers left here, so that's good. And uh, the four others should be making their way down the hill over here. Yes, beautiful. And I decided to save on uh, powered rails because it's quite expensive in the gold and redstone department. Well, you can just make a minecart furnace. Like a, a furnace in a minecart and it pushes the other minecarts. So that's, that's interesting. I never used this before, really. But it sure does seem to do the trick. I just wonder if it'll get up those steeper hills over there. Huh. Apparently not. I was hoping this thing had a bit more power, but uh, looks like I'm gonna have to push these villagers up manually. Uh, I hope this works. Let's see. Yep. Yep. You go up. Up you go. Yep. Final one. Okay, they made it all up the hill. That's perfect. Uh, what? Where? Where? Where's this guy going? He, that's the wrong way. What? How? How did he get past the furnace minecart? Uh, I better go check on that guy. I think uh, it's nighttime. He might be in danger. Let's go uh, make sure he's all right. Yeah, I saw him go in the house, so I think he's gonna be fine. Let's then make sure the other guys make it into the submarine. And we'll come back for the other one afterwards. Making our way through the new tunnel, and it looks as though these guys are here. Uh, I just caught up with the Minecraft furnace. Minecart? Minecraft furnace? My furnace minecart, that's what it is. But yeah, we've got the first three villagers in here. Now we just gotta go get the last one. Take the furnace minecart with me. And uh, yeah, I'll leave these guys here. I think they're safe in their minecarts over there. Oh, he's over there. He must have rolled back down the hill. Uh, let's push him with the furnace minecart. I think he should be able to get one villager minecart up a hill. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem now. And that is all four villagers in place. We've got them all down here in the submarine. Uh, just one more thing I need to do. There's John, we've got Paul, we have George, and of course Ringo. And that's all of the beetles inside of the yellow submarine. Of course I had to put these guys down here. Okay, now that we've got a door in place, we can uh, get these guys out of their minecarts. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, which one are you? Oh, it was George. I hate George. I'm sorry, George. Well, I tried making it look a bit more cozy in here, but after pacing down the red carpet in the center of the room, I kind of got stuck. Apparently, it's not that easy creating some kind of a cozy interior. Yeah, I might need to test out a few things here and there. Uh, but that's not going to be for now. I might do that in the future still. This episode, there's really one more thing I want to get done. Uh, just quickly taking a look at the glass tunnel from the outside underwater. It does look kind of nice. I may uh, may make it look a bit better in the future. But the thing I did... This isn't right. This should be terracotta. Luckily, I, I do have one piece of terracotta on me. Beautiful. But uh, what I did was make a hatch in the top of the submarine as well. So that way we can also enter through the top by going underwater. And we don't have to cross our entire base down into the basement in order to get to the submarine. And so the last thing I want to do in the interior over here is uh, something I never really done before. You see, I've got a box of materials over here with a bunch of node blocks. I'm going to attempt to make a song in Minecraft. So let's see how this goes. And that wasn't too hard actually. It went a lot quicker than I thought. I did have to go into a creative testing world to figure out the timings and the spacing I needed to, to put in between the blocks. But other than that, I think it went pretty smoothly. And this is a pretty short part of the song that I wanted to play. Uh, and even this was uh, kind of a tight fit in this space. But let's have it a go, shall we? So get out, out of my way. 
Yeah, and these guys, they were always getting stuck like down there. So I added some trapdoors here, which allows me to go underneath. But the villagers, they're just slightly taller than a player. So they're stuck. That's a good thing. Right, let's have a listen. I am kind of worried about copyright claims and stuff like that, but... Yeah, that was it. Of course, you probably recognize it. It was the Yellow Submarine theme song, and it sounds pretty good. It's very simplistic. It's just a melody. There's no chords or anything like that. Uh, that would even take up more space than uh, it already did. But I did put some effort in making it sound good. We've got the bell sounds over here, which is like the main tune. And then we've got the bass, which is the piano sound on a dirt block. Uh, I think, all in all, it does sound pretty good. As I said, it's very simple and it was my first time ever making some kind of tune with the note blocks. But it works and I'm happy. Let's, let's do it again. That is perfect. All right. And with this, I'm going to leave you for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next episode on Building with Flow. A good bye.